Everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live, live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive, guys. And we're going to be talking about Elon Musk out there. There's a there's a news article that's going around saying that Elon Musk uh, intentionally added the Twitter, the Dogecoin logo to Twitter because he wanted to, you know, basically pump up his Dogecoin to get out of debt for, for buying Twitter uh, out there. So we're going to talk about that. I mean... I don't know. We're going to cover the article. You guys tell me what you think about that. We're going to be talking about uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Uh, it looks like Bitcoin uh, needs to get past some huge resistance out there. I'm going to be talking about that and much, much more, guys. We're going to talk about some huge breaking news regarding the U.S. dollar and just what's going on in crypto, guys. So if this sounds interesting... And it does. It does to me. Guys and gals, don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, and remember, none of this is financial advice. Uh, finan none of this is financial advice, guys. OMG out there. I still got this flu, guys. I, 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 I still got the flu, guys, out there. So it's kind of weird and wacky. It's been almost like, I think, like eight days now. My voice has been like poopoo schmata out there. Guys, go back and watch all the other freaking videos, guys. What are you waiting for? Go and do it, guys. And do become members out there. So what's going on? What is going on with the pre-markets, U.S. pre-markets right now are kind of neutral out there. So I'm thinking I'm thinking that, uh, you know, we're going to see uh, the markets turn green. So hopefully I'm right and not wrong. Some of the big news that's coming in right now, uh, you know, we're seeing that, uh, you know, Europe's relationship with China reaches critical juncture out there. We're seeing that the BRICS, uh, the BRICS uh, organization is building up more members and a lot of more members saying, look, we don't need the U.S. dollar anymore. And uh, that's going to be affecting the sovereignty of the U.S. dollar out there. I uh, take a look at the heat, heat map in the house right now. We're still seeing that uh, Bitcoin is at twenty-eight thousand five hundred fifty-seven dollars. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is at nineteen hundred bucks right now. We're seeing that everything is mainly green. The only thing that is down, D D D, down down, is Dogecoin right now. And uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, we take a look at the historical returns for Do for Bitcoin right now. Uh, let me just uh, uh, pull this up for you. We're seeing that right now on the monthly. Uh, we're seeing that January 39.63, very good. Uh, February was uh, neutral out there at 0 0.03. And we're seeing that March that, uh, was at 23% up and uh, April is all, also at 0 0.31. So totally year to date, if you take a look at the quarterlies out here, quarterly returns, so far, so far, we're seeing the Q1, we're up. We're up, boys and girls. And Q2, we are green. So, not looking too shabby out there, guys. Smash the likes, subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. You know, if you compare that to uh, last year, we saw that uh, we have four bad quarters out there. OMG. Pretty nasty out there. But look. Look what happened in 2021. We had 103% in Q1, 40% down in Q2, and Q3 was uh, up 25%, and uh, up uh, Q4 was 5%. So look at that. We're looking like uh, 20, 103, 128, 128, 128, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, about 134% up uh, for 2021. So interesting, interesting. Uh, if you look at 2022, we're also doing pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, 2019, not too bad, right? Uh, 2018 was a bad, bad year. But 2022 was one of the worst years out there, guys. I'm moving. I'm moving to make my camera move with me and focus on me out there. Let's take a look at what's going on with the broader crypto markets out there. Right now, we're seeing that the uh, total market cap is at 1.1 trillion, ladies and gentlemen, out there. We're seeing that the Bitcoin dollars is uh, about 45.8, but we are seeing that the Ethereum dominance is rising. And why are we seeing that? Because like I said, when Bitcoin consolidates for a long period of time, what happens is people will move some of their liquidity, some of their liquidity out of Bitcoin and, and buy Ethereum. So that is another reason why we're seeing Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. And typically, typically Ethereum does uh, outperform Bitcoin most of the time when it comes to pumps and dumps out there. So we are seeing that uh, uh, Ethereum is looking pretty good. It's at 1900 bucks. Our next resistance for Ethereum is at $2,000, guys. So... You know, I'm holding my Ethereum strong, strong, strong. Uh, I'm still dollar cost averaging. I've diverse, uh, my portfolio is diversified. I don't have uh, everything in Bitcoin. I have 50% Bitcoin, 25% Ethereum, and 25% big and small caps. Uh, I don't go any lower than PancakeSwap on there. We're seeing that BNB is up. We're seeing XRP is up 3.43%. 
Not too shabby, but it's down in seven days. We're seeing Cardano, Cardano out there uh, is uh, is 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 bigger than bigger than Doge. So it looks like Cardano has flipped Doge again, and that is because Doge is down a two percent. So if Doge was up two percent, two to three percent, we would see that we could be flipping Doge coin, uh, be flipping Cardano and get back up to the seventh spot out there. So I'm not worried. We're still in the eighth spot. Doge coin has been in the eighth spot for a very long time out there, guys. Still going to talk about Elon Musk, Doge coin. 111, uh, you know, our, with the big article, this big news that's kind of swirling around the inter interwebs is that the Elon Musk, uh, you know, added Dogecoin uh, to its uh, you know, Twitter logo uh, because uh, Elon Musk wanted to pump the Doge to pay off some debt for Twitter. We'll talk about it. I don't know. What do you think? Shiba Inu is down as, as well. So we're seeing most of the old coins are starting to, to flash green, some more than others, so not too shabby out there. Let's take a look at what's going on with the DXY right now. So DXY wise, DXY wise, is that, a, is that even a word? DXY wise, uh, we're seeing uh, the uh, DXY dollars down right now. It's at 101.693. This is good. And we have this we have this huge falling falling wedge uh, from my perspective this whole falling wedge to 99 cents and I think we're going to continue falling and that's going to also assist and pump up uh, most of the cryptocurrencies so pretty pretty good gold is up as well gold is up about two thousand bucks out there uh, s p is down from yesterday pre-markets are looking neutral out there so let's see I think we're gonna have a nice pump today uh, Bitcoin like I said is consolidating it's consolidating and we cannot get past, this is our resistance level right here, about 28.720. That's acting as very, very hard resistance for Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. And we are still painting this, this, I think it's a bull flag. I believe it's a bull flag and I believe it's positive and I think we're gonna be going up out there. Okay, so that's pretty positive. 69% uh, of the Bitcoin holders are in the money. Now, Ethereum is a darling right now. We're seeing that in the last two days, that Ethereum is pumped up real good, guys. Uh, we're seeing that Ethereum is up almost, uh, almost uh, six, uh, six point five percent. Not too shabby out there, and we're seeing that Ethereum uh, is at nineteen twenty three. Our next resistance right now is at uh, Ethereum at two thousand bucks, and right now we need to get Ethereum. We need to go up another uh, around about another five percent. I think it's doable. I think we're going to see uh, Ethereum easily, easily above uh, $2,000 just a matter of time out there. Guys, wow, Ethereum breakout confirmed, guys. So Ethereum has broken out and we're making the move and our next stop is 2000 bucks out there. Now, remember, Ethereum is skyrocketing to an eight-month high ahead of the Chappella upgrade. So we do have the Chappella upgrade coming, but we are seeing that in anticipation of that, we are seeing a lot more people are interested in um, uh, uh Ethereum, and also referred to as a Shanghai Upgrades, Chappella marks the completion of the second largest blockchain transition to proof of stake, guys. So that's it, guys. When uh, Chappella comes out, that's it. The Shanghai is here, and we have moved to a proof of stake consensus mechanism for uh, Ethereum. That's good, guys. We're going to be burning more Ethereum than we're making. That is good. The fees should come down. So that is pretty good news for Ethereum holders, guys. Don't sleep on, on, on Ethereum. Now, Bitcoin holds above 28,000 as Ether rise to the most top 10 crypto. So uh, Ethereum is pumping right now. P Ethereum is uh, pumping. So right now, uh, but Bitcoin and world's crypto currency by capital marketization has risen by 1.85% in 24 hours, uh, like uh, 4 p.m. Hong Kong time. But we are seeing right now that Ethereum is pumping. It's up 5.43%. Uh, and that's looking pretty good. Dogecoin was searched on Tuesday after Twitter uh, chief Elon Musk flipped the Bluebird logo to uh, Shiba Inu Dogecoin icon. Uh, the token, uh, you know, has, has gone up, but, you know, the token has dropped right now. So the token has dropped, but still among the top 10 cryptocurrencies out there. So not too shabby, not too shabby out there, guys. Still looking pretty good out there. Cardano is back above Dogecoin as the Dogecoin rally is stalling. So we are seeing right now that Dogecoin uh, is stalling, has stalled. Uh, we have this, I still believe we have this nice W pattern here, this painting for Dogecoin. Dogecoin is at 978. We are above this, uh, we are above the, we just flipped above the 967 uh, as a resistance level. So that is green, guys. And I think we're going to make some momentum and I think that we can break out from this spot. And I think we'll be back up to 10 cents. So if this W pattern breaks out, that should take, uh, you know, if we, if we, let's just measure that. If we, if we measure from, from here to, to here, the top, the top right there let's measure it from here to here okay point of breakout let's move that 
And let's put it here. That should take us safely to about 13 cents. So that's looking like 13 cents could be the next uh, the next target for uh, for Doge. I still believe that 15 cents is incoming. Easy peasy for Doge coming by the end of the month, guys. What do you guys think? Smash the like, show some love out there, guys. Did you know? Did you did you absolutely know out there that people who believe in crypto, Tesla CEO, Uber CEO, Apple CEO, the YouTube CEO, PayPal CEO, Reddit, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. So a lot of the big thought leaders, government leaders, uh, and corporate leaders believe in crypto, guys. So it's it's good, guys. Bitcoin is trading at the most important resistance level. Can we break past it? So like I said, Bitcoin right now has this huge resistance level right here at 28.7 is the resistance level. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we get past that? If we can break past that resistance, that is going to confirm a nice breakout to the upside, guys. So looking pretty good. Uh, this is from Mustache. So many big signals flashing for BTC. The green bands in the in the GMA have crossed the red bands, which is very bullish. We saw that here, cross here, cross here, and after that we had like a hyperbolic uh, rise to the top side, guys. Remember this is our double top that we had in 2021. Bang, 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 out there. This only happened in 2015. 2019 after a such a long accumulation signal start of a new bull run so that is why i'm confirmed i believe and i believe in my heart that the bull run is here guys not financial advice looks like the u.s is under more pressure as china has talked with malaysia on forming asian monetary fund and uh what they want to do is they want to basically uh get rid of their dependence on the u.s dollar guys so that is what's going on uh you know, if if all plays out as predicted, we could see Dogecoin going to the moon, guys. So, uh, according to uh, Stock Money Lizards, he's looking at a target of around about uh, 100k in 2024, 2025. If they if we have this one, two, three pattern play out, we did see the one, two, three pattern play out here. So that is looking pretty good out there, pretty bullish, pretty pretty bullish. Uh, this is from Seth it looks like Bitcoin the reason uh, resemble. The, the resemble is there, no doubt. Bitcoin has been going sideways for about three weeks now, resembling 2019 a moment, a movement. And you know, when we, we saw that in 2019, what we did see, we did see a huge breakout to the upside, guys. So we did see it, guys. We absolutely did see that uh, breakout. So, you know, we're right here right now. And if you look at that structure, pretty similar, pretty similar structure here with some resistance uh, around about this area here. We can get past there, and uh, we, we're gonna go, we're gonna move. We're gonna make some move, guys. We're gonna absolutely make some move, guys. Big breaking news for Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Uh, it looks like Domino's has updated, changed their profile picture to include a Doge. That is pretty bullish out there. Dogecoin, fear and greed, 67. Dogecoin is looking fantastic, in my opinion, out there, guys. In case you missed it. Dogecoin pumped 37% immediately after Elon Musk changed the Twitter logo to Dogecoin. It's been freaking positive out there. It has been positive, positive, positive. We're also seeing that Elon Musk has been accused of pumping Doge to settle Twitter debt. So this is an article. You guys tell me what you think. After Tesla, NASDAQ, and Twitter uh, CEO Musk randomly changed the legacy blue uh, bird Twitter icon to that of Dogecoin, upon which the mean coin price skyrocketed, a Bitcoin a purist has accused him of intent intentionally pumping the price of Dogecoin for his own goals. Specifically, the Bitcoin maxi Jimmy Song, who's been singing the song, believes that Musk's recent cha change of the Twitter icon Doge logo out there was a ploy to settle financial obligation after acquiring the social media network and not just to sh uh, show support for the uh, uh, for the asset. According to Song's Twitter post published on the on April 4th, uh, he said Elon Musk is pumping Doge so he can pay off his Twitter out there. I don't believe it. I do not believe that, guys. I do not believe that. And I've looked at some of the, I looked at the uh, the Dogecoin blockchain. There's been no big, big sales, guys. There's been no big sales that would even come close to, uh, you know, covering Elon Musk's debt for Twitter. So this is a big FUD, uh, FUD piece out there. Uh, shame on you, Anna, for writing it. Uh, Jimmy Song, wake up, brother. Smell the coffee. What you've been smoking out there because it is poo poo matter time and it's people like you that make me sick and tired of the bullarchy out there so dogecoin is a freaking moon guys let's get it so dogecoin is at 0981 
I think that those coins are going to recover. We should see ourselves uh, by the time the market opens at 10 cents out there, guys. So we're down 2.22%. We've all 1.98 billion, not too shabby. And the market cap is at 13 billion. So it's, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. We are doing uh, much, much better uh than we were before and we're back to the february you know if you go back to if you go back to dogecoin and look at the february february area we're back above the february area here, right here so it's looking good guys and this w uh, formation is bullish we will play out uh if you take a look at the social mentions in the last week we're still up guys freaking up like crazy not too shabby out there uh you know i think that we're fine and it looks like you know this trader he called uh bitcoin should uh reach two hundred thousand dollars by the end of next year that's pretty good he's calling for like 2024 we should be at two hundred thousand. so not too shabby out there not too shabby webby oh, i be out there guys and gals uh don't look now bitcoin is starting to make a move it's starting to make a move guys uh absolutely starting to make a movie move out there guys so it is a cool time to be alive out there so it is a great time to be alive so i wouldn't worry about too much out there guys and gals don't forget to uh don't forget uh to follow me on uh, twitter don't forget to follow 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 and guys if you've got your crypto on a hardware wallet don't forget out there uh get a nano ledger the link is down below guys absolutely down below guys don't forget to be part of the uh, conversation join our discord i would appreciate join it join it right now we got a ton of members out there uh and if you're missing any links out there or any notification go here to get it guys i appreciate it. i appreciate it. let's take a look what's going on with shibi weeby right now shibi we is uh, creating a spinning top right now so it means that the market is indecisive as to whether they want to go up or whether they want to go down out there so keep on keeping on guys so it's a matter of time a td td time tag so guys don't forget to follow me on twitter don't forget to get the merch guys don't forget to check out all the links so i'll see you next one i absolutely see you next one guys so peace freaking out i'll see you in the next one booyah baby Thank you.